Let's dive into the exciting world of BAN and its speed, hot topic buzzing around the internet lately. But how much exactly is BAN fast? In this video we are going to explore it in depth. We'll be benchmarking various aspects of BAN and comparing it with Node.js and Deno to see which one comes out on top. And I'll also show you how you can run these tests yourself to verify the claims. So stay tuned for a comprehensive look into the world of web development speed. To achieve our objectives, we'll utilize a few benchmarks, starting with those included in the BAN GitHub repository. Besides that, we'll also test package installation speed and conduct some prime number calculations. As we scroll down the repository page, you'll find detailed instructions in the README file, which will guide you through the running the included benchmarks. For the additional tests, package installation speed and prime number calculations, I will provide further guidance later in the video. For start, let's copy the HTTPS URL from the repo GitHub page so we can clone it locally. Alright, let's roll up our sleeves and put these claims to the test. First, we'll clone the BAN repository into a local directory. Next, we'll navigate to the bench directory and install dependencies. The first bench we are going to run is FFI bench. It's a benchmark that measures speed of module call execution of native libraries from JavaScript. This can be used with languages that support C ABI like Rust, Zig, Nim, Kotlin, C, C++, etc. The key takeaway from these tests is the average execution time. It reflects the average performance over multiple run-throughs of the test. Next up, we have the log benchmark. We'll be testing the performance of basic console log operations comparing BAN, Node.js and Deno. Let's see who comes out on top. The next bench is about compression performance using zip library. The way benchmark works is to zip, unzip and perform both operations together as a round trip on a large chunk of text. Our next benchmark focuses on synchronous and asynchronous JavaScript method calls. We'll test sync functions, async functions and also an async await function. A critical test to understand how each platform handles these core operations. Here's the exciting part. We'll be benchmarking BAN's native SQLite client integrated directly into the core. The benchmarks will be performed on a sample database with three tables of varying sizes. This is where BAN aims to shine. Ok, we went through all of the benchmarks from the readme file. Let's conduct an additional benchmark of our own, beyond the included ones. This one's all about measuring package installation speed. We'll use a Svelte project as our test subject. So let's clone the Svelte project into two separated local directories and run the package install from there. Stay tuned for the results. Let's start by installing node packages and see how long it takes. And do the same with BAN. If you remove node modules and run npm install again, it'll use cache packages speeding up the installation. Similarly, with BAN, if you remove node modules and run BAN install again, BAN package manager will use the cached packages also resulting in a quicker installation. And the last set of benchmarks for today will be from Hexagon Primer Git repository. It'll test some prime number calculations. Let's clone the repo and run the tests. As we wrap up our benchmarks, it's time to unveil the results and declare the winner in this showdown. But before we do that, let's summarize our findings and discuss what they mean for your web development projects. The FFI, ZIP and Async benchmarks showcase the competence between BAN, Node.js and Deno, with each platform taking the lead in one of the benchmarks. This indicates a balanced performance capability across these environments. For SQLite, BAN excels with a considerable lead, showcasing its robustness in handling database operations. Deno comes in second, and Node.js lags at a distant third, indicating varying levels of database operations efficiency among the three. In the log test, BAN takes the lead, showing superior logging performance, followed by Node.js, while Deno lags considerably. This suggests that for console logging-centric applications, BAN might be a preferred choice. Package installation speed benchmarks carried out between BAN and Node.js reveal BAN establishing a clear lead in both cached and uncached package installation scenarios. 
This factor is crucial for developers aiming for swift setup and fast deployment. Lastly, the prime number calculation benchmark showcases Deno outperforming with BAN and OJS registering competitive scores. This implies that for computation-intensive tasks, Deno might hold an advantage. I must conclude, it is certain that there is no clear winner. Each platform has its own strong points and shines in certain areas. BAN shines with SQLite database tasks and logging, making it a solid choice for projects that need strong data handling and logging. Node.js is a strong performer across different tests and could be the go-to for developers already comfortable with it. Deno stands out in heavy computation tasks, like crunching prime numbers, making it a good pick for project of that kind. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of BAN speed. If you found this video informative, and if you learned something, please hit that like button. This is only my second video and I am just getting started, but I promise you there is a lot more thrilling tech-related content to come in the future. To follow up, hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Your support means the world to me.